least I was very conscious that if I start speaking on this topic, I hope I don't make anyone upset. But I'm very sorry, but this topic is so sensitive that it is going to touch each and every person. Right now, as Ma'am Anjum said, she was talking about the life which reality, divorce. This is the bitter reality. But what about the dream? The most beautiful dream in a person's life. What is it? It's marriage. Ever since a girl or a boy, they start growing up. They start having a dream. A dream of having a life partner. And not only a life partner, but a partner who's perfect. The dream person of their life, their ideal. And they start waiting for that moment when that person is going to enter their life. They are waiting for that holy matrimony, neka, shadi. It is a turning point whether it is a male or a female. This holy matrimony is the start of a new life the start of a journey of two people who in the beginning are total strangers to each other. But once they have said, Kabul hai, Kabul hai, Kabul hai, they step on a new path, the path to a married life. They are very lucky at this point if they get the right part if they get this one whom they have been dreaming for. The person comes in the life and they say, yes, you are the one I was waiting for. Then you feel, yes, my dreams are true. But, unfortunately, if for some reason this person is not correct for you, this is not the right person, this is not the person you are dreaming for. And he has entered in your life. He or she has entered in your life. Then things start going the wrong way. Your dreams get shattered, broken, shattered like a glass. Once in your hand it is beautiful. Once broken, bits and pieces. You cannot put it back together. It's gone. This may not only happen in the form of a divorce. It may even result in a separation, that you are living separated in, from each other. Because in our culture, the word divorce, the word talaq is considered a taboo. And then again, it is one of those things, yes, who Allah has granted, has given to you. But then again, one of the most disliked things by Allah Ta'ala. Pasand nahi hai lekin ijazat de di hai. Kyunke, or yeh uska bhat karam hai. Yeh usne majboor nahi kiya hume that we start keep on living with that guy or that woman. So, at times a person besides seeking that house may also decide to live with the separation. Ki alright, you may live your own life, I can live my own life, you won't live with each other. No connection. But why are we doing that for the purpose, for the sake of our children? How the bachho ke liye kurbani dete hai? Or, might be those two people who are very loving, very loving to each other. But then, crash, shatter. Your dreams are gone. You are left all alone. Someone who you thought would be there with you for a whole lifetime is not there anymore. If the person is right, your feelings may stay positive, but unfortunately, if that person divorces the husband or the wife, then what happens to you? You are left to reject the feeling. Form away.
they are shattered they lose confidence in themselves they feel no way to go hum kahin nahi ja sakte hamare liye koi jagah nahi hai then again one more thing coming from the society is ha isko tanga to bhi ab kya hoga for the men folk it is not they like this they can be married but for the women बर्दाश्त करना चाहिए था कहना चाहिए था ये क्या किया यू गेट टू लिसन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड यू हु वर अ वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट पर्सन समवन हु वाज वेरी गुड वेरी स्ट्रांग यू सिट इन अ कॉर्नर यू आर अपसेट यू आर लॉस्ट यू डू नॉट नो व्हाट टू डू मैंने ऐसा नहीं सोचा था मैंने एक अच्छी जिंदगी के खाब देखे थे अब क्या होगा but you have forgotten someone in your life someone very important in your life do you know that person that person is you yourself you have forgotten yourself you have forgotten how important you are to you are it is only you who can help yourself who it is only your your personality who can help you until now is you have trust in yourself and you believe that whatever is done is not my fault only then you can rebuild yourself first of all you have to have confidence in yourself as when you just said that we she has said to go to that experience right now it's very difficult it's very difficult i myself have gone to this experience you can see her you can see me can you find yourself that you have lack of confidence no we have outgrown all those difficulties we have outgrown all those things really i would like to quote a share right now which i strongly believe juda hue hai bahut log ek tum bhi sahi confidence for someone Who was not valuing you? Now at this point, you have to decide: Am I going to sit in a corner and suffer, have self-pity, lose my trust, and let the other person be? Me to ask him, please, if I say it, I should have said it. Or are you are going to stand up, stand up? You are going to stand up, strong, confident, and tell the world. Whatever has happened, nothing is going to let me down. Let me feel down. I am going to show how strong I am. I am going to show 